I have a Acura TLX here. This one has damage down here on the rocker panel. I destroyed the rocker panel, ripped it wide open right here. Crushed it all the way across. Now the bad thing about the way they make these panels is this quarter panel comes short. It only comes to about here. So it doesn't even cover all the damage and that's all still completely destroyed. So we had to get a rocker panel section as well, which is what I have right here. So unfortunately, I have to put this whole rocker panel in as well as the quarter panel. So a little bit of a project going on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this one apart. I'm gonna just do rough cuts to start with. I'll cut everything short to get the bulk of it out of the way. Then I'll turn it back the rest of the way to my final sectioning locations. So I'm scribing here my final cut line so these two panels will meet up exactly perfectly. And I have another one right here.
Now I am onto this quarter panel and they sell this quarter panel which comes all the way up to, it's probably right about here, but they actually have you section it down a little further because if I go all the way up, this goes underneath the roof, which complicates the whole project. So they actually want me to section it. It gets sectioned somewhere, I'll have to look at the sheet, somewhere right in here. I'll make my rough cut and then I'll set it on there and make my final cut through both of the layers at the same time, so I have a perfect cut. put this rear door on there to make sure my quarter panel sitting roughly where it's supposed to be. Look at my gap because it could move a little bit either direction. I like where my gap is right now though. So I'm gonna lock that down. It's nice and even. So now I could go ahead and make my final cut right here. Now it looks like they sold the rocker slightly longer than the quarter panel by about an inch or two. So I'm just gonna mark this. Now I'm just going to cut the rocker panel right there. Well, I just about have this one fitting together exactly like we want it. Checking my trunk gaps and tail lights. That all looks very nice. My doors all line up nice. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this back apart and I'll have to lift the quarter panel back off because it gets glue throughout this area. So. I'll lift that bag off, I'll lay out my glue, and I will get the quarter panel on permanently. And then after that, I will lift the rocker back off and I gotta put some sealer on the back side of that, then I'll put that on permanently as well. Now, in order to make sure I put this quarter panel back in the exact spot it's sitting right now, I went through and I drilled just some small eighth inch holes in four or five different spots. And then I will put these sheet metal screws in those holes in all four corners of the panel and then whenever I put it back on I'll put sheet metal screws in all those holes and that'll put it in the exact spot that it's sitting right now and then I'll do the same thing on the rocker as well.
Now I did the same thing on this rocker panel as I did on the quarter panel. I drilled four holes as alignment holes. I use whenever I put it back on, I'll put sheet metal screws in those holes to make sure it's sitting in the exact spot that it's sitting right now. I'm gonna lift this panel back off. So I went ahead and I MIG welded this seam right here and got it all dressed. However, these two seams, this seam and this seam, and there's a few plug welds right here. This actually gets, I have to use silicon bronze to braze these seams. Reason being is the structure behind this, the inner piece right here, as well as right here, are high strength steel. And if I put too much heat to them, it can actually uh, damage the strength of the steel. So they want you to use they want me to uh, braze both of these seams to prevent from damaging because it's about half the heat or less that goes into the steel whenever I braze it. 